Good, good morning. <laughs> I thought I was introducing you. Go on then. Good morning. We're in Liverpool. We are We are spending the weekend here as a little birthday trip for Tom. And also just because we have not been over to Liverpool since we looked like this. We arrived last night and when I got here I filmed a little room tour. So I'm going to insert the footage from yesterday now. But we're spending both Saturday and Sunday here. And I'm very excited because we like this city a lot, don't we? I love this city. This is probably my favourite northern city. Okay, but why do you love this city? Because it's not because of the city, is it? No, but I do love the city. Tom loves it because of the football club. I do, but I, I do love the city so nice. I honestly feel like I don't properly know what Liverpool is like. I've been once on a night out and then previously just for like the day a few times. I've never really like properly, properly explored Liverpool. Perhaps we're going to see a bit more of it. I'm excited. I don't know. Maybe it is because of the club, but I personally just feel like a connection, okay. you know? Yeah. Do you? I don't know yet. No. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Anyway, this is what we got up to last night. We went out for dinner and then we actually went for a few drinks at the Cavern Club. So I'm going to insert that footage here. Look at this. We've got Thomas in the bathroom. Hello. Hello. Behind Thomas, we've got a really, really nice looking shower. I do love a nice shower. This one is a nice one. Just nice vibes. Really nice aesthetic. And then obviously the room kind of matches the vibe. Massive bed. That is huge. And then around here, we've got this little desk area. I really love the mirror. I was literally saying to Tom last week, I love these kind of mirrors that are like uneven shapes. Very cute. Little chair. Loads of space. It's just a really nice interior. It's just a nice hotel. And perfect location. We're literally in the L1 shopping centre. Perfect location. Perfect. And now we need food because we're both starving because it is eight o'clock and is. we haven't eaten. I'm so hungry. I could eat a horse, but not literally because I'm a vegetarian. And now it is Saturday morning. It is about 10.15. We are ready to head out. You're probably thinking, but Molly, you look very rough. That's true. And I would usually put on a nice face of makeup if we were going out and about in a city for like a, a weekend break, but... She's going on a billboard today. <laughs> I am actually, we're heading over to the Trafford Centre this afternoon, like late in the afternoon, we're driving back towards Manchester just for a couple of hours because I'm actually doing some work with Avon where I'm going to be getting my makeup done and part of the brief is please come with no makeup on and to be honest that's fine with me, I'm fine to go out in Liverpool like this now and then having my makeup done is such a treat, like that's going to be so nice because I don't have to do it, somebody else is going to do it for me, that's amazing um, but yeah I'm very excited and like Tom says, apparently me and the other girls that are part of this campaign with Avon are going to be on a billboard in the Trafford Centre today so I don't think it'll be today no no it is today it's part of the campaign yeah but surely it's gonna say times like no I think it's just going no no it's not been printed I think it's like a, a oh, flicking like see, rotating between images oh that's cool yeah that is not for this vlog though so today we're going to be exploring Liverpool and tomorrow with a brief interlude in Manchester but let's go out now do they need any male models I don't know you could ask, I ask. yeah So after I'd finished having a little boogie around the hotel room, we headed to the Albert Docks. Now, if you've never been to Liverpool, these are probably one of the most famous things in the city. And this is really what I remember from being a child as well. How happy are you to be in Liverpool? Very happy. Hi. We just had a little wander around, looked in a few of the shops, kind of made a plan for what we wanted to do tomorrow. Cause we were like, are we gonna go to the Beatles museum today? Or are we gonna save it for tomorrow? And we decided on the latter. <laughs> <laughs> Luba, why did you clean? No, you look like that guy out of... Oh, uh... uh, you're thinking of Dr. Eggman? Aren't you? Dr. Eggman, you look like Dr. Eggman, yeah. Quick little pit stop, we are picking up a little Joe and the Jews before we go shopping. Tom has a couple of bits he wants to buy because he got some money for his birthday for a few items that he's hoping to pick up either here or in the Trafford Centre. I would really quite like to buy a pair of trainers this weekend because I've been wearing the same pair of trainers continuously since we were in New Zealand. I like changing between those and my docks. But I really do just want another pair of shoes because like I just don't really have any. All of them have been destroyed travel. All my other shoes are more like going out to me. Like day to day I'm like, I don't really have any shoes. So I kind of do want to get a pair of trainers, but we'll see. Of course we've come in here. Of course we have. But to be fair to Tom, it is his birthday and it is his request. And we've not been in here for a while, but I do remember coming in here the last time that I came. I haven't been to this one in years. I think I bought you a Christmas present from in here once when we just got together, yeah. I wanted to go to the, there's a massive one outside the stadium that just built. Oh, uh, at Anfield. I wanted to go to it last time and then we got stuck in traffic. So we, we did, yeah, yeah. No, we have oh, when, you. Oh, when, we, when yeah. we went to Anfield, we also got stuck in traffic though. Nightmare to get out. Probably a good job, I'd spend too much money. Yes. I'm not actually sure that you need any more Liverpool I'm, I'm clothing. I'm not buying anything, I just want to have a look. 
Okay, now I wouldn't wear Liverpool merch, but if I was going to buy Liverpool merch, this is probably my favourite thing I've seen. I like the jacket, it's very cool. Apparently it's in collaboration with Converse. I think it's because don't Nike on Converse. I don't think so. Chuck Taylor's own Converse. What Nike bought it? I, I don't know, maybe. Oh, maybe. I'm not maybe, sure. Maybe not. Well, they're definitely above American. So. Their collaboration with Converse is probably my favourite section of the shop, not gonna lie. I do like the shoes. I remember when these first yeah. came out, I thought they were pretty cool. You're not really a Converse kind of guy. I'm not really uncomfortable. Do you? I love Converse. Oh, they were cool. They're nice, yeah, they so, are. So, like I mentioned, mid afternoon, we actually did pop back over towards Manchester and I spent some time in the Trafford Centre with Avon, actually working on such a cool campaign. I have already posted this on Instagram and there's a lot more info there, but basically, I had a full on makeover. I felt pretty good about myself. This was me on a billboard. Now, I tried really hard not to cringe at this and instead feel proud of myself, but it was honestly such a fun day. So check that out on Instagram if you haven't seen it. Hey. Okay, uh, How do your arms do that? <laughs> Hello guys, it has been a while. Tom is behind me on the bed. Hello. Suited and booted. Um, not really. Boots. Not a boot. All the suit. All the suit. He's got a shirt on. And we are going for dinner. I am very excited. I've booked a restaurant. Tom does not know where it is, but I've picked somewhere that I think Tom will like, because obviously this kind of is for his birthday. We did pop over to the Trafford Centre this afternoon. I didn't really film any of that. Like I say, that was for something else. But we did some shopping. Tiny, tiny, quick haul. You know how I said I kind of wanted some trainers? Well, just when you got some trainers. I got some trainers. I'm excited about these. These are the New Balance 530 in this kind of like nudey, goldy. These ones. I'll link them below actually. I got them in shoe. Yeah, the staff were really nice. It was really easy actually. I thought it would be quite difficult to find them because they were out of stock online a couple of weeks ago. But got the goods, secured the bag, the shoes. And now we're going to go out for dinner. I have got ready. I've just got on a black dress. It's literally just a plain black dress. Heights. Freezing in here, by the way. Are you sure you've got that on heat? I don't know if I put the heating on or the air conditioning on. It's so cold. It's not that cold. No, I'm quite warm now. Well, but I'm right under the thing. Uh, oh, also, man. I have been dancing around. Anyway, we're going out now, so it doesn't matter, but the downside is it's raining. <laughs> Tom has convinced me to share a dessert, even though I was like, no, no, I'm trying to be good. But here we are with a massive, massive slab of cookie dough. Yeah, go, go for it, you can tuck in. It does look amazing though, guys. We're in a restaurant called Gaw Gawshai. I think that that's how you say it. And it is a very, very boozy, very, very fancy restaurant. And here's Tom. Is it good? Yeah, the face says yes. Yeah? Good morning! It is Sunday. We are surviving, mainly thriving. Last night was actually really, really fun. I completely forgot when I booked this that, as well as it being Tom's birthday, it is also St. Patrick's Day weekend. There are a lot of Irish bars and pubs here in Liverpool. Also, I feel a lot of hen weekends, probably just all the time in Liverpool, but I do think with it being St. Patrick's Day weekend, even more hen weekends. So we saw some sights. <laughs> We saw some sights last night, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> we actually witnessed a couple of things. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Tom just showed bums. Yeah. <laughs> um, we also saw a fight. We saw a whole fight kick off in the Alchemist of oh, all the, places. Yeah, and there was that guy that ran the red. Oh yeah, there was a guy that ran the red. And also when we came out of um, neighborhood, there was another fight going on outside of another bar. Yeah, it was a lot actually. I feel I'm not very good at nights out anymore. Mm. Like I kind of want to sit down and talk to Tom, not like shout over some music and then witness a, a bar brawl. And I'm like, I'm actually just a grump. Like, yeah, we're all off. I was like, what are you fighting over? Oh, we also witnessed a couple having a massive screaming argument in oh, the yeah. street. It was a lot, actually, but it was very fun. It's I quite feel fun like people watch. Yeah, I love people watching, it's especially when there's drama. Really. I think, especially when there's alcohol involved. Yeah. But anyway, feeling a tiny bit hungover this morning, but we're gonna go and get a coffee, we're gonna go and get some breakfast, and we're actually gonna head to the Beatles Story Museum, which is what we passed yesterday, and I'm really excited about it because I've not been there since I looked like this. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Alrighty, we have arrived at the Beatles story. I think some of this might be quite tricky to film because they're blasting out a lot of music, but I'll do my best. Also, I'm really enjoying all of the St. Patrick's Day nods all across the city. Yes, we are here. I think we're gonna take a little picture down here first and then we're gonna head in. So this is the Beatles Story Museum and as soon as I got inside, I was pretty convinced I'd never been in here before. If I did come in here as a child, I don't remember it, but I felt like I was learning a lot about the Beatles. I actually really enjoyed this. It was like an audio guided tour, super interactive. It did cost 19 pounds a ticket to get 
get in, which isn't cheap, but I do actually really think it's worth it if you are planning a visit to Liverpool and you're even remotely interested in the Beatles. Can you believe they played in Hull? Sorry, what? Anyway, this was basically what it looked like. It was a lot of memorabilia, a lot of kind of like walkthroughs of their different albums, which I thought was really cool. And Tom also really enjoyed it. So overall, 10 out of 10 experience. Okay, we have just finished in the Beatles Story Museum, which I don't think I have been in before. I think I've taken a photo outside of it, unless they've changed it quite a lot. Didn't recognize any of that. I've definitely not done it like that. I don't, think, I don't think we did it. I feel like maybe it actually was uh, the other museum because there's two Beatles museums. So maybe I went in the other one. Anyway, it was really, really good. I genuinely recommend if you're visiting Liverpool, even if you're not a Beatles fan, I think you can just appreciate the insane history and how much they have changed the music industry. Like, I find the music industry quite interesting anyway, just to like learn about and like they are such a pivotal moment in that. Oh, that was really good. Really yeah, good. and also it is amazing for the city. I do think, obviously I'm not from Liverpool, but I am from the north of England and they're such a huge export out of Liverpool. It's, it's insane, it's crazy. Anyway, uh, now we're just walking around, having a little look in some shops. I think we're gonna pop into Waterstones, but have we walked past it? No, yeah, no, no, it's there. Oh. So we actually wanna be that way. Also, there does seem to have been some kind of roast this morning in Liverpool. I don't know if it's like the Liverpool 10K or whatever, but everybody is... Irish. It's definitely some kind of Irish thing, yeah. It's for St. Patrick's Day, which is actually today. So that's fair enough. But yeah, there's a lot of green, a lot of green among everybody in the city right now. I feel like I've got the wrong dress code. I think it was a marathon. You kind of match. Yeah. I just don't understand how people could possibly have run a marathon already this morning. It takes start, hours. It's early though, don't they? Well, it must have been really early because we were out at like, like 11. Yeah, we started at like 8, yeah, 7 or 8. Yeah, you know, it takes like four or five hours to... Like, that's like does three, it? Like three or four hours, I think, isn't it? Well, if I did it, it would be like seven hours. Yeah. I'd, still be, I'd still be going. Never done one, then I don't think I ever will do one. Oh, you're not going to enter that phase of I'm going to enter the half hour oh, when you turn 25. I've said done one, but I just don't think I ever could. I don't even think I'm unfit, but that's just incredible. It's like, insane, it's insane. I don't know how you could run, like, was it 26 miles? 26 miles. Yeah. So much respect, man. Couldn't be me. 10k is my limit. No more than that. <laughs> 1k might be my limit. <laughs> Okay, we did want to do one more thing before we leave the city, and that is to visit, what is it called? Paddy's Wigwam. Paddy's Wigwam, why is it called that? Apparently, the nickname for this, which is actually just the Metropolitan Church of Liverpool, or Cathedral of Liverpool or something, but its nickname is Paddy's Wigwam, and we're going here on recommendation of Tom's dad, actually. But apparently it's really nice when it's sunny, it's not sunny right now. Apparently it has some amazing stained glass windows inside. Honestly, I kind of think from the outside, not this bit, but the back of it, it looks like Space Mountain. I'm gonna put a photo side by side, tell me that is not Walt Disney World, Space Mountain, but slap bag in the middle of Liverpool. I am now back at home quite clearly and of course I didn't end the vlog so I'm just gonna end it now but we had the most lovely weekend. I actually really stand by what we said at the beginning of this video that like Liverpool is one of my favourite cities in the north and I do actually think that if you're looking for a weekend away, like if you're looking for just Friday night, Saturday or Friday night and Saturday night, somewhere fun that has like a real personality of its own, I think Liverpool definitely is that place. I really, really enjoyed it. If you have got all the way to the end of the vlog, comment down below your favourite Beatles song. So I asked this on Instagram and there was such a split in the answers because I kind of thought like the classics would come up loads like you know Hey Jude, Let It Be, those kind of songs but there was so many rogue ones. Also if you got this far don't forget to subscribe down below, give the video a thumbs up and I shall see you guys in my next video which is going to be up on my channel on Saturday. Bye guys!